Hello friends. Today I want to cook the Chennai mutton biryani at my backyard porch. Friends, when the biryani is cooked, the aroma from the biryani is smelled all over the neighborhood. Let us see that. We will go to our backyard kitchen, our porch. Let's go. We are using 1 kg of basmati rice washed and soaked for 30 minutes. Mutton, 1 kg bone in, larger chunk of inch and half size preferred. I have used the tender and pink in color meat. Soak the red Kashmiri chilies in water for 30 minutes and add little water to make fine paste in the blender. Once the pan is hot, add half cup of oil and 3 to 4 tablespoons of ghee. When hot, add in cinnamon, star anise, add imperial cumin seed, shahi jeera, stir for 5 seconds or until the exciting fragrance fills the kitchen. Add clove, add cardamoms, black peppercorn, maize, bay leaf and grated nutmeg. Add three finely chopped large size red onions to it. Add three to four green chilies slit from middle. Stir for a few minutes or until caramelized. It's done when they are evenly changed to the golden brown in color. You see the onions are done perfectly. Add the Kashmiri red chili puree and stir well. Adding the Kashmiri red chili paste at this stage enhances the color of the biryani. Add 3 tablespoon heap of garlic paste and 3 tablespoon heap of ginger paste and stir well constantly about 30 to 40 seconds until fragrant. Allow flavor to mellow into the dish and let the aroma to hit its peak. You will know it's done when you can smell the garlic and your mouth starts watering. Now add finely chopped tomatoes and stir well. Add 2 to 3 teaspoon of salt once the oil is released from the solids, handful of chopped mint leaves and chopped coriander that cilantro leaves to it, lime juice in, yogurt in and stir well. Add mutton, 1 kg bone in larger chunk of inch and half size preferred. I have used the tender and pink in color meat and mix of leg, chest, shoulder, round round with fat. Add 500 to 800 ml of water to cook the mutton. The meat cooking time depends upon the quality of the meat. For the red meat, the tenderizer can be used to soften the meat. Cook until the meat is softened or well done. Add extra water if needed to cook the mutton. In meantime, bring the water to boil and add cinnamon, clove, cardamom, salt and rice. Add a little oil to avoid rice sticking with each other. Cook the rice for 1-2 to two minutes until it is partially cooked to 30% and drain the water away. Once the meat is cooked and rice is 30% cooked and ready, Add the rice gently to the cooked meat. Add 3 teaspoons of ghee, dash of water and little oil to the edges. Prepare a soft dough with wheat flour and 3 fourth cups of water. Roll the dough into a large roll. Keep it ready for the dump process. Place the dough ring around the edge of the pot. Add the magic herb that is mint and cilantro. Place the lid over the dough and press down hard to seal well to stop the steam to escape. Keep the hot plate or hot tawa on the flame and place the biryani pot over the hot tawa. Leave on high flame for 4 to 5 minutes 
and then on slow flame for 20 minutes to cook and turn off the flame. Leave the sealed biryani to rest for next 15 minutes and slowly open the lid. While you remove the lid from the pot, peel the dough off. Wow. Look at that. The meat has cooked to its perfection and the rice is not sticking to each other. Let us plate this. The aroma from the biryani is irresistible. Wow. Look at this natural colors that makes this biryani unique and appetizing. This is the ultimate flavor and the color that defines this royal dish. This is our Chennai mutton biryani. Hello friends welcome back for our second dish that is the enna katrika so let us get on to it let us start off with 2 tablespoon of sesame oil wait for the oil to get hot brown ch red chilies in peeled peanuts in stir a little and add fenugreek seeds wait for it to get little golden color and add cumin seeds in it stir for few seconds until you smell the exciting aroma let the chana dal get in saute a little pour in the seeds in add sesame seed and curry leaves and saute a little let the shallots in and fry until it is nice and translucent wow i can smell the fantastic aroma of the spices at this stage turn off the gas and let grated coconut in saute a little fine grind the fried spices in a blender Wash and towel dry the brinjal. Slit cut in between making two cuts vertically keeping the whole brinjal intact. Turn on the flame. Sesame oil in. When hot add slit cut brinjals to it. Stirring in between. Let them fry until they attain golden brown color. and cook to 75%. Look at the brinjal. Each one has changed to the appealing golden color. Remove fried brinjals carefully and move to a plate. The oil is hot. Mustard seeds, leave the mustard seeds to crackle. The aroma from the mustard seeds is the magic aroma. Once the crackling is done, we'll add the onion paste and saute on a medium flame until it turns to golden brown color garlic paste ginger paste and saute well fry it in oil until you get this beautiful caramelization little of curry leaves turmeric powder kashmiri chili powder sambar powder in saute a little and add tomato puree once the oil is released from the solids add roasted ground paste stir a little
add little of the asafoetida. Mix well and add 2 teaspoons of salt or to suit your taste buds. Add the tamarind extract which gives the gravy a range of sweet and sour taste. Mix well. A dash of water to achieve the required consistency of gravy masala. Keep it covered to boil for 30 seconds and open. Let the fried brinjals in and mix well. Cook for 5 to 10 minutes until 100% done. To serve, transfer to serving bowl and serve hot with biryani, rice or chapatis. That is brinjal masala. This is the Yenna Katrika. You can try it at your home. It can be used as a side dish or as a main course. It's so the best goes with the biryani. Enjoy. See you for the next dish. Hello friends. So now we are going to go for the third dish. That is the onion raita. Yogurt, 10 tablespoon. Whisk well. Teaspoon of salt. A pinch of black salt. Roasted and crushed cumin seeds, little of chopped green chilies, finely chopped onion in, mix well and add finely chopped tomatoes. All the pulp and seeds removed. Here we go. Our onion raita is ready. This is what is our raita. This is our Chennai mutton biryani. Hmm. Oh, the mutton has cooked well. Please try it at your home for your parties. I am sure you are going to love this. Thank you.